She's so lucky to have survived. I don't think luck has anything to do with it, my dear. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I was just wondering the same thing. Wasn't she talking to herself? How did Rose hear her? Was Rose using a name other than her own? She doesn't remember it. I need to find out. How'd I find that out? It got burned as badly as that little girl. This is horrible. Wow, and she kept that thing, huh? A blown up soccer ball. Destroyed in a bomb that killed a bunch of people. Alright, well, she says she doesn't know anything. Is that true? About her name? Her last name? Why would she not know what her last name was? Why can't you remember your name? I'm Rose Duvalier, but when I went to Vietnam, they gave us different last names in order to protect us. So that the enemy couldn't identify your family to blackmail you? Yes, and I do not remember what that name was. Look in the top left drawer of my desk. Maybe you can find something there to aid you, my dear. Ah, okay, that actually makes total sense. Alright, let's go do that. Hold on just a second, Rose. Keep your mind right where you're at, please. Okay, so she could have been reading any one of these books. Hmm. The Tao of Physics. This book was published about three years after Rose was in Vietnam, so this couldn't be it. All right, that clears that up. The Book of Shuang Tzu. Nothing in this one, except that it was owned by a Matt Warriner. Hmm. The Alchemy of Happiness. Wait, what's this? It's a piece of a picture. This is Rose in Vietnam. But I can't see the whole thing. It's been ripped. Okay, well the whole photo would probably have her name tag. And also that probably means this is the book she was reading. The Prophet? Damn, there's nothing here. Yeah, this has got to be the book. It looks very old too, very worn. Alright, the alchemy, the alchemy of Happiness. Is there anything in the other drawer? Nope. I can only open one drawer. It's a piece of a photograph. Hmm. Let me see if she knows where the rest of it is. Is this a photograph of you? Yes, it's from that summer. I tore it to pieces once. I told you, my dear, it's both a very important time in my life and a very sad one. Can I use cognition on it? Ah, uh, okay, so I need something else. Um. Oh! The soccer ball, right? She said she kept it. I think I need the soccer ball. Hmm, can I ask her for it? Hmm, it's not here in the list. Alright, well, let's go set this book to the correct thing. The Alchemy of Happiness. Oh, whoops, did not mean to do that. Alright, can I get her to talk about the ball? Nothing happens when I click that. Hmm. Alright, well, let's leave it for now. He gave her something. 
Did he? Antique in hand. Rose doesn't remember what he gave her? I need to find out more about this. Hmm. What did he give you, Rose? Check that shelf over there. Mm, which one? Here? Alright, well I know this she had from the priest, which was not from him, so obviously that can't be it. There's so many of them. Which one am I looking for? Ooh, ooh, there's the other piece of the, the ripped photo. She kept the other piece? Why? It's only I mean, a piece of a photo. Is that Rose? I mean, I'm glad she did, but if she wanted to rip it in, into pieces, why didn't she believe it that way? I don't have enough pieces to make a clear picture. Alright, well, maybe I can do this. You have now activated. I think I already know this, but just in case, you have now activated your synergy power, which allows you to view a memory by constructing a clear image from America's inventory items, select highlight items, or your inventory related to the video. Yep, okay. Is that enough? Ooh, it is. Look at her. A Bailey. All smiling and young. Okay, Bailey. Oh, wait, I just realized I can do this. Um, is this one where I need to get multiple connected things, or can I just do one? Yeah, okay, you need multiple connected ones. All right. Ooh, there's a soccer ball. Is that enough? No. Okay, so the third item would be whatever it was that she got, because it needs to be a third and related item. Well, there's no way she got handed a camera, because that's way too big. Nope. Painted tile. Nope. Burn figurine. Well, that's obviously one. It's beautiful. This must be what Bautan gave Rose. Mm. There was something here before. Could it be what I'm looking for? Alright, we're gonna have to write down the shape. Just in case I can't remember it. Okay. Actually, can I do anything with that ball? Like, can I take it? I don't know, I might need it for something. Nope. Alright, back into her mind. Starting with this one. Alright, Bailey. Okay. Next one is the thing that was handed to her. Which was, actually, I think, is that it? I think that's it. Let me keep going, though, just in case. No, not that. Oh, wait, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Right? Or was it the other one? No. I think it's this, this one. Yeah, that's it. Alright, next. Ah, she can't remember what she said. They were going to execute him. She suffered. She doesn't remember what she told him? She suffered. You can see the past. Well, that can't be it, because he saw the future. So, no, unless he could see both. I mean, I guess that's possible. What did you tell him, Rose? About what he could do? Isn't it obvious, my dear? Yeah, I, I think it is pretty obvious. It's probably you can see the future. Didn't you try to stop them from executing him? I tried. I moved heaven and earth trying to find a way to grant him a pardon. But those were not granted easily. I could not save him. Listen, my dear. Sometimes the forces of the universe are stronger than our fiercest wishes. And as much as we have to try, there comes the time when we must accept whatever path the universe has prepared for us. I did not know that then, of course. Part of what I learned from Bao Tan was how to stop believing I could change everything and instead just do what I could to comfort him while he still lived. Sometimes all we can do is simply let go. Very true. Sadly, very true. Hard work, perseverance, courage. 
It can do a lot, but it can't do everything. Sometimes you just can't change things. You can see the future. That's gotta be it. Alright, why is this all blurry? This is what I need to dig up. But I'm gonna have to clear her memory fully and replace all the missing pieces before I can see what she has locked here. Okay. Um, do I have everything? I do, okay, sweet. Here we go. Wait, can I use cognition, like, right now? Wait, what? The cognition sphere allows it to skip cutscene? That's weird. No. Please keep playing. <laughs> I know what you can do. I know you will do good by those like us. I can see it. You will be an angel among those like us. Oh, I gross. too have failed, my dear, many times. But we must always pick ourselves up and keep on going. I couldn't save Baltan, but to this day I keep his spirit with me. You could hear him. You can... you can read minds, Rose? You're one of... us? I can see and hear people's thoughts, my dear. That must be what Cordelia wants you to know. But why? I do not know, my dear, but it is certainly something that she has foreseen, and it is undoubtedly part of a plan. Yeah, why does she want me to know that? I mean, Cordelia can see the future, so obviously she saw some future in which that is pivotal. The fact that Rose can read people's thoughts. Oh, th that explains... <laughs> that explains why she was able to read my thoughts when I was thinking, when I was reading the descriptions of stuff, right? And I said, did I say that out loud? That's why, because she can read minds. That just occurred to me right now. So yes, there's some future in which... Her ability to read minds is pivotal, but I don't know exactly how that's going to play out. Hmm. Well, Cordelia is a scion, obviously. So Cordelia is like Bautin. She can see the future. And just like him, she was judged for a crime she did not commit. This is a very powerful kind of scion, Erica. Also a very cursed one. Those who can see the future are plagued by their visions in ways far worse than those like you who can see the past. I tried to help Cordelia, but the events that unfolded around her came too swiftly to be stopped. Rose, but how come I could see the future? I've been thinking about that. It is true that every yin has its yang, and when you bring together scions with contrasting but complementary powers, especially a pair still learning to cope with them, uncontrollable things happen and the powers can clash. What you saw was a vision Cordelia had in the past, her vision of the future. 
but because it had to do with you, it triggered whenever you were close to her. So, in the parking lot at the station, and again in the hangman crime scene. But then, why didn't I see it when I met her at the cemetery? You were probably more susceptible to danger in those other occasions. But I don't have all the answers, Erica. What I do know is that this power links you to each other, which is how you connected to her past so easily at the Inthon Towers. Why were you so sure that John was in danger? He confided in me about a few things, and there were other things I read. But it was when you called me from the towers that I made the full connection. What they did to Cordelia after Max's death, it haunted John in ways you cannot imagine. Do you blame her, Rose? That is a very hard question to answer. I feel for all the scions out there, but in this short time, you have known her better than I ever did, probably better than anyone else. The question is, do you blame her? I don't know how to begin to answer that question, Rose. Let me entertain a thought here, Rose. You can read minds. And Cordelia wanted me to know this. Now, I know you keep saying your memory is fuzzy, but I need you to concentrate on what I'm about to ask you. Go on. When Cordelia was here, was there anything that you read from her thoughts? Anything special? Anything that seemed to matter to her or that could tell me where she or Cain might be? That would be a very hard thing to... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. When... Cordelia's visions would overtake her, I would ask her to focus on a place that would calm her down. And did you read her? I'm seeing it in my thoughts right now. Ooh, well let's delve into the thoughts then, shall we? It's a lake house. This must be where Cordelia wants me to go. But where is this? There has to be something that can guide me here. I think I remember seeing this picture in the last episode, yeah. I remember Scorobius in the background. I think that's Scorobius, isn't it? Who is this person? Wait. It's Scorobius. He can tell me where this place is. Mm-hmm. Last I heard, they were holding him down at the station. Time to pay a visit. There's Scorobius, all creepy in the background like usual. I think I have all I need. Thank you, Rose. Erica, wait. I have not quite told you everything. Really? I had a feeling. I live up to Valtan's last words. I look for scions and I help them deal with their abilities through training or whatever means necessary. I've taken it upon myself to offer scion salvation. We need to protect our kind. There is much for you to learn about what I do, what we do. But right now, you need to promise me that you will do your best to handle Cordelia. I know that you will use your best judgment with her. I don't know if right now is the best time to... This is not an invitation to join us. This is just me trusting you fully. There are others like you, others that have been watching you for some time. Your coming here was not an accident. Know that whatever happens, in here, you will always have a home. Thank you, Rose. Your badge and your gun, Reed. Now leave. Take a vacation. And I want you to go through counseling before even thinking of coming back. Is that clear? You finally found a way to do it. You've wanted to do this since I went against you the night that Scott died. You must be happy now. No, Reed, I'm not. But after what happened with John at the Anthon Towers, there's no other choice. You need to be off this case and away from this office. But not before I debrief you. I want to know everything that went down in there. Did you bring Scorobius in? Yes, he's in one of the interrogation cells. Leave it be, Reed. Collect your things from your desk, and I'll be out in a few minutes for the debrief. All right, I'll be waiting. But first, I'd like to make a pit stop. My exact thoughts. Hey, you little piece of shit.
Wow, I don't even have to actually do something to get inside. I thought I'd have to solve a puzzle. All right, let's just go right at it. Miss Reed, what a surprise. Weren't you suspended? I don't have time for your cryptic bullshit right now. I need information, and you're going to give it to me. You seem very sure about that. Yes, I am. Because I don't even need your consent. Boom. Keep your hands off me. Never mind, maybe I do. Can I just, like, knock him out? <laughs> no, I don't have anything on me except my cell phone. Hmm. Well, he, wow, he actually trusts me a bit, apparently. All right, let's just talk to him. I don't have a lot of time, and I need to get as much information as I can from him. Tell me about the cabin. Where is the Smith's leg house located? Which one? What country? Hmm. <sighs> Well, if I push him against the wall, I suppose I could touch him. But let's try it a different way first. That's a last resort. I really need that information. Well, I don't want him to know how much how important it is to me, because it's probably going to make him less likely to give it to me, so I'm going to say I don't have time for your games. I don't have time for your games. Neither do I, Agent Reed. And I recommend you leave now if you do not wish to get into any further trouble. Hmm... Let's talk about Keith. You knew about Keith all this time? Do you think I'd tell you if I knew? We are surrounded by cameras and microphones. Even if I wanted to help you, I wouldn't say a word. Alright, well this isn't gonna work. So, fuck it. What are you doing? Help! Someone help me! There's no one here right now to save your pompous ass. I need you to tell me where Keith and Cordelia are. Go to hell! Well, like, I don't want to beat him up. I just want to touch him. I'm already touching him. All right, fine. Let's try this. Where's the cabin? The Smiths have a lake house. It must be close to here. A lake house? That describes a dozen properties they own. <sighs> Where is the Smiths' lake house? Which one? What country? Okay, this is not going as well as I thought. How could I have done this better? I don't know. Fuck it. Me. I told you I don't know. Get your goddamn hands off me. I could keep applying force. <laughs> but seriously, what else can I do? Talk. Agent Reed, I, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. He looks about to pass out. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, let him go, or... Oh wait, I could what? I could have done this the whole time? I thought exiting the conversation would let him go. Okay. Hmm. Wow, that was unnecessarily yeah. Max That's what set Keith off when he found out the truth. But about what? What truth did he find? I don't remember. You bastard! You were there when Keith dragged Max down! You could have stopped this! You have no proof of that. No? How do you think I know? There were cameras, remember? I'm a lawyer. You can't intimidate me with your insinuations. You not only falsify documents, but you are also an accomplice to murder. With the points you're racking up here, it's not looking good for you. Do you want to try your luck? I won't say another word until I see something in writing. Nobody is watching. Nothing is recording. I don't give a shit about it. I just want the address. Now speak! And I might just forget all about this. The lake house you are looking for is at 1246 Pleasant Brook Lane in Rockport. Why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you try to stop him? I didn't know what Keith had in mind, what he was capable of doing. 
Besides, it all looked like a sibling's quarrel to me. I hadn't been a father to Keith up to then, and I wasn't about to start. You piece of shit! Agent Reed. Uh oh. Agent Holmberg, stop her. <sighs> hmm, this isn't good. I'm sus I just got suspended. I'm not supposed to be here, and I was doing something illegal on top of that by, um, well, assaulting him. This is bad. <laughs> Push Holmberg, then run. Uh, no. That would turn a bad situation even worse. <sighs> Running's not gonna work. Just talk to McAdams. McAdams, you have to listen to me. What I'll the fuck is she time. doing? Ten years in jail. <laughs> Animation bug. Being nice is not exactly gonna work here. <laughs> I got ten years in jail. That was that was a wow. Okay, this game has a lot of fail states. A lot more than the previous games. And what was up with that animation bug? It's like she was back, back to leaning over the table, except she wasn't actually at the table. Let's try that again. How far back do I have to go? All right, let's see if I can do this a better way. I mean, how can I get his trust? I don't even have anything on me. This isn't gonna help me, right? No, I... I need to push him, don't I? Where is Cordelia? I thought you'd know the answer to that by now. Hmm. Touching him is not going to work. Keep your hands off me. All right, we, we gotta go back to it. I don't see any other way. You... you what are you doing? Help! Someone help me! There's no one here right now. Go to hell! Okay, here we go. Exit conversation, and boom. Yes, skip cutscene. You bastard! You were there when Keith dragged Max down. You could have stopped- You have no- No? I'm alone. You- I No. Why didn't you do it? I didn't know. That skip is really weird. You piece of this is like super fast forward. Okay. Agent Reed. Agent Holmberg. And this game definitely needs more frequent saves. Well, talking to him doesn't work. Try to run by. Um, push Holmberg, then run. Sorry, Peta. What kind of shit are you getting into, Erica? I am going on the run. We used to come here every summer when mom and dad were alive. Things were much simpler back then. Don't take another step. You tricked me. My visions? John! The future is a very fickle thing, Erica. What we see is sometimes only one of many possibilities. I saved us both. Had I been in the Anthon Towers with you, one of us would have ended up dead. So I left the towers before that could happen. But fate has a funny way of correcting itself. Someone still needed to be shot. You led John and me to the towers. You're responsible for what happened to him. No, Erica. You didn't do what you were supposed to. You were supposed to kill Keith when you found him. You should have used your powers on him, and you would have seen it all. But you didn't, Erica. You made a sloppy mistake. The kind of mistake that cost Davies her life. That's what you wanted me to do? Kill Keith? That's what this was all about. If you wanted this to end so badly, why didn't you kill him yourself? Killing one of my brothers was enough for me, Erica. People like us are cursed. We can't lead simple lives. Don't you dare compare me to you. You're a scumbag murderer. You killed Davies. You almost killed Sully and... What makes us any different? Tell me you don't want to pull that trigger right now. Give me one damn good reason not to. Very well. Take this. I found it down in the basement. Use your power on it. Do it. The hell is that? Towel? What? 
It's better be a very special towel. He's taken someone, but I can't see who. Me either. But we can work together to stop this, Erica. We can save that person together. So, what's it going to be? I don't trust you. If it helps, this might help me get closer to my goal. I want McAdams. <sighs> you really are crazy if you think I'll let you hurt anyone else. We can talk about that later. Follow me. The clock's ticking. He was here recently. Do you smell the burning wood? Max loved that smell. He and Mom would sit by the fireplace for hours just listening to the embers crackling. Keith would watch them from the corner of his eye, pretending to be reading over on that sofa. I can see how there was something troubled in him even then, as if the world he saw wasn't the same one the rest of us lived in. You could have prevented all of this suffering and death if you had just come clean in the first place. But instead, you used me. Why, Cordelia? Why did you choose me? Because I saw you, in those visions at the towers. You were there, trying to help me when everyone else just crossed their arms and let Max die. You're a rebel, Erica. You were hurt enough by the death of your brother that you could be driven to killing Keith. It was the only way. But for that, you needed to be vulnerable. I saw it. And so you hurt everyone close to me. Manipulated my life for your needs? Ugh. We're wasting time. Let's continue this search. <laughs> she manipulated the people around me to make me vulnerable enough to fall into her plan and have me kill Keith for her because she's... I guess too much of a coward to do it herself. Even though she didn't even have to kill him. She could have just gone to the police. What the fuck is wrong with her? No, I, I don't forgive her. She's a monster. Manipulating murderer. A manipulative murderer. I mean, why did she kill Davies? Just because she... Because she needed to to get me into the correct... Uh, you know, to manipulate me to... Kill Keith for her? She killed someone who was innocent? I mean, granted... Davies was a piece of shit and kind of incompetent, but still, she didn't deserve to be murdered for that. Although she was an asshole, but no, no, she did. She didn't deserve to be murdered for just for being an asshole. I don't forgive her all at all. I mean, at this point, it's not even something I even really need to debate. She's a horrible, horrible, terrible person. Obviously, she's had horrible things done to her. So I can understand, a bit, but still. No. It's not even a- Whoa, holy shit. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, hold on a second, I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. Now, what am I doing here, exactly? I mean, I came here looking for her, and I found her, so... Now what? I, she probably told me what we're supposed to be doing. But I forgot. I have such a good memory, don't I? All right, let's just take a look around. He was here recently. No. But maybe I could use Cordelia's hand to search it. <laughs> that would be satisfying, wouldn't it? Cordelia, go search the fireplace. Yep, there's the picture. And that is... Who is that? I'm assuming that's Max, but who's the other guy? Hmm. They look... happy. <laughs> oh, that didn't last long, did it? This must be Cordelia's father with someone important. Oh, never mind. Okay. Which one's her father, though? The left one or the right one? The one on the right certainly seems older, so I would assume it's him. Let's take a look at the bathroom. The medicine cabinet. 
probably well stocked. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. That's, that looks very safe. Yes, store the razor. Open. An empty cup. This could come in handy. Um, what am I going to be doing with this? Rubbing alcohol. Hmm. Rubbing alcohol is good to clean thermal compound off of heat sinks. Fun fact. Rubbing alcohol. Not interested, especially if it's his. A razor blade, and not too rusty. Not too rusty? It doesn't look rusty at all. Looks pristine. This could come in handy. I hope we don't need one of those today. Any wounds I'm likely to get today will need more than a band-aid. Yeah, fair enough. A magnifying glass. Always helps to have one for getting its splinters. You know what? I just realized I don't even have a magnifying glass, and in fact, I don't think I've ever used one for like 10 years. Weird. I just can't ever remember having used for a magnifying glass. Nothing like stuck in your own crime scene kit with everyday household items. Mm-hmm. So this is what a serial killer family sink looks like. Pretty similar to everyone else's. Indeed it is. Very sinky. And knobby. And watery and bully. Well, I'm just going to take a guess here that maybe this empty cup needs some water in it. So let's do that. Bingo. Don't know what it's for, but what the hell. Maybe I just need a drink. Can I drink it? How would I even do that? I don't think I... I don't think I can do that, can I? No. Okay. This can be used for something. Probably something in the basement. Let's go. Kane's lair. This is the first trap. The George siblings in the old factory. And this one. Joe and Cameron, when he started using tombs. Janelle and Robert, he planned it all here. Scott? He never lets them live. There's always a backup plan, ever since me and Max. You're the only one who ever got away from him. Cordelia, what was done to you was unspeakable. More than probably anyone else, I understand. But what you've done is wrong. Don't pretend you know me just because you've seen my past. What Keith did was wrong. I am not like Keith. I did good, Erica. Someone had to stop Antony and Joey. I saved others. They will never kill again. <laughs> That's actually true. She did save people. She did kill killers. She also killed people who weren't killers and were completely innocent. I can't say that I condemn you for stopping them, but why Davies? Why Sully? They were doing their jobs. No, they weren't. They didn't listen. The night I took Joey, he was headed to Melissa's apartment. I tried to warn Sully, but he didn't listen. Melissa? If you hadn't sent your warning as a cryptic message, he would have done something about it. I know Sully. But what did you want me to do? Tell him I could see the future? I already tried that, remember? Didn't go too well. You're still wrong, Cordelia. You're pretending that this is all about poetic justice, but deep inside, this is just an excuse to get your revenge. That's why you want McAdams. Yeah, really, why does she want to kill McAdams so much? Is she so taken by bloodlust that she wants to kill someone simply for being what she seems to think is incompetent, and I don't even think he is necessarily incompetent. Sending a cryptic note is not exactly the best way to get someone's attention, to get their attention to a crime that is going to happen. But even if he is incompetent, is that really a good reason to kill him? The answer to that is an unequivocal no. Janelle's trap. 
Scotty. I wish I could have found this then. He killed Joe Hollowell in one of these. There's something different about it. It's been changed? Hmm. This looks familiar. Seen it before? I have, but not put together like this. He knows about us, doesn't he? Of course, and he must be experimenting on us right now. How long would a pair of scions take to solve this puzzle? I can almost hear him. You didn't even plan all of it, did you? It was him. He helped me put it together. He gave me ideas. He played you, that's what he did. No, I was in control. Where is he then? You were supposed to kill him. <sighs> what a stupid plan. Yeah, instead of hoping, maybe you should have done it yourself. Alright, I don't know what the hell this is. Obviously, this is the map of the city. But apparently, we have to use both of our powers to solve it. Um, but before that, let me look at what else is in the room. This was the one for the George siblings. They held each other's hands as they were killed. Alright, so there's something different about the sarcophagus, and there are some controls here that I can use. Not as long as it's filled with spikes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. What is this? Another one of his games. And how do we solve this one? If I knew the answer, I would have already solved it. Okay. Slider one through four. Okay, that should help. No dice. This was installed recently. And he didn't even try to solve it once. Well, shit. Okay, let's try Cordelia. Any ideas, Cordelia? Well, that didn't help. <laughs> let's try the next one. Really frustrating. <laughs> Okay, can we skip to the part where I solve it? This is great, actually. I get to see... I get to see what my future would have been like, or maybe even still will be like. <laughs> Trying to solve this puzzle. Give up. <laughs> oh, this is great. Mom, I don't have all night. Erica. The stuff you're saying. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. Wait, so just keep going? Any ideas, Cordelia? Mm, nothing. Erica, the stuff you're saying. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. Do I need to switch? I... No, no. And the others won't be any different, right? Nope. Okay, could I switch to her... Mm. I don't get it. The stuff you're saying is helping, but it didn't seem to actually change anything. Can I get her to say different stuff? I don't... Mom, I don't have all night. Erica, the stuff you're saying... Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. It doesn't seem to be helping anything. I don't understand. All right, whatever. Let's do the table. Another one of Kane's games. All right, what can we see? Oh, those are buttons. It's a map of Boston. 
during the big dig. Why is that here? He wants to torture us with memories of the city's most mismanaged and drawn out construction project? Our company did major restorations for the road reconstruction back when the big dig was taking place. What I don't understand is the date in the future. There was some work that was saved for later. If I'm not mistaken, it should start somewhere in the next year or two and finish by 2018. Ugh, great. I had a friend who came into the city once with a GPS. The thing kept trying to send him into the sea. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. So what does he want us to do? This looks digital. It seems to be moving in real time. Real time? But it doesn't seem to be moving at all. It looks static to me. Alright, so it was supposed to start back up the last part within the next couple of years and finish by 2018. Hm, well, let's see what we, what we can see with visions. Oh. That was the future, right? Yes, that was the future. Okay. So, different pathway, pointing to different things in the future. I should probably write this down. Um, shit. I need blank paper. Um, what's work? Yes, okay. All right. To get to work, pen and paper, your best friend in an in adventure game. Uh, hold on. Let me... Uh, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, there's 10 buttons. Five per side. Um, how should I do this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's probably a very inefficient way to do this. Alright. Which ones are connected? Alright, I got two down before it went away. One, two. Okay, I think I got all four, five, six of them. No. no. God damn it. All right, you know, hold on. Um, I'm just going to transcribe all these down, and I'm going to cut to when I'm done. All right, I am back. So, yes, if you use Erica's... Uh, Erica reads... I'm just going to say Erica. Erica reads sounds weird to say. Um, if you use Erica's power... You get to see in the past, so you get to see what the uh, what is circled in 1998. And of course, the current present is 2011, I'm sure. And if you use Cordelia's powers, you get to see what these are in 2018. So you have different circled things in three different time periods, 1998, 2011, and 2018. Now, the question is, what do I press and in what order? I'm pretty sure I know that. Because the one from 1998 has one, two, three, four, five, has five ones circled, or f five ones with routes going to them, or whatever you want to call it. The one from 2018 has one, two, three, four, five, six, and the one from 2011 has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one has five, the other has six, and the other has seven. So I'm guessing I do the one with the least amount up and just press all those buttons. So press all the ones from the one that has five first, and then the one that has six, and then the one that has seven. So let's go. Let's give that a shot. All right, so it's this one. Yes. What are we supposed to do with these? If I know Keith, it's some sort of combination. Yep. And then this one and that one. Okay. I suddenly think this isn't going to work. No, because I can't enter these this hmm, okay. This is interesting. One has five, one has six, one has seven. What does that mean? These don't, like, there's no way to clear these. There's no way to enter these. 
I can only enter in one combination at one time. Maybe I need to look for whichever one is not taken by any of them? Like for what's excluded from all three combinations? Or maybe what's included in all three combinations? Okay, let me think about this more and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have two things to try. I've mapped out which ones appear on none of the three combinations, and I've mapped out which ones appear on all of the three combinations. Okay, so the exclusionary one, the two that do not show up on any of the three patterns, which is unlikely to be the answer, but let's try it anyway. Okay, didn't think so. Alright, let's try the one that's on all of them, which is four. This one. This one. This one and this one. Boom! I thought so. The hell? Ugh, I'm getting tired of this game. What are you going to do when we find Keith? He's going to answer for what he's done. What do you want it to be, Cordelia? I don't know. What matters to me is that he understands that I'm doing this for him, too. Maybe to make up for what he's done to all those people. For what he did to you and your brother. Maybe I should have come right to you, Erica, instead of trying to connect from a distance. What about what you've done? Well, I personally, I want to take him off the streets so he can stop, you know, being a danger to everyone around him. Because he's a serial killer. I would just like to get him off the streets, yeah. Alright, what the hell is this? Oh, God. There's like many figurines of... Of the traps and stuff. Only read blood. What the f... What, why make these? Oh. Okay, did I just take them? Oh, wow. Holy shit. Oh, God. Okay, we've got some serious puzzle solving here. Alright, let's start examining these. This is the door trap that killed one of Kane's victims. Blood buys him time. Am I supposed to put these down in certain, like, slots? I think I am. Yeah. Okay. Another figurine. He suffocated. This must have hurt like hell. These could be the spikes from that sarcophagus. I don't even know where to start with these. Alright, I mean, let's look at this. Alright, we have four circles. Four squares. And four, like, L's. So, there aren't an unlimited number of combinations. Well, I mean, of course there is an unlimited number of combinations, but I mean, the actual amount of combinations is significantly reduced because of that fact. Only certain things can go in certain places. Hmm. It looks like... I'm guessing you have to put the three related things in each group, like you have one of each type here, one of each type of, of slot here, one of each type here, and one of each type here. So I'm guessing you need to put the related ones together. That's my guess. Only read blood. Oh. Match the traps with the text and the whatnot. The wheel from that tomb door. I still have scars. All right, so let's just put one down. Let's grab. <laughs> Unfortunately, the inventory makes this very cumbersome to work with. All right, so that's the wheel from the. Yeah, Erica Wheel Trap Figurine. Uh, it's a square bottom. Let's just go ahead and put it... I don't know if it particularly matters where we put it to start with. Or if this needs to relatively be correct. Alright. Scott Trap Figurine. And what else is connected? George, Iron Maiden. Only Read Blood. Obviously, that's the next one. It seems too easy. Is this really it? Whoops. Maybe I can try it somewhere else. Didn't mean to do that. This does seem too easy. Hold on. 
And what about this sarcophagus? I wonder if I need something from the sarcophagus for this. But what would it be? I still don't get how this is supposed to work. She's just gonna say, talk more, it helps me, even though it doesn't. Really frustrating. Erica, the stuff you're saying. Keep it up. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. I don't get it. The stuff you're saying, it doesn't seem to help at all. I mean, I could just keep repeating it, but that's not going to do anything, right? Give up. No. Erica, the stuff you're saying. Skip it. Skip it. I can't. I think I'm getting something related to it through my power that will help us open this thing. I can't get rid of the nagging feeling that I need something from that sarcophagus to be able to properly do this. But for now, let's just go with what it looks like. Group the, well, group things together. That was a super awkward trans transition there. She w had to do her animation to walk all the way over there and then just stare at the wall. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, wrong character. Wait a minute. Whoops, I forgot to do that. Durr. Hold on, let me switch to um, Erica. Quadrant. Okay, we have different quadrants. One, two, three, and four. He used all of the figurines in each pin. He's just trying to confuse you. He knew you'd try it. Ah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Put everyone in every single pin, and that way I have no way to... Yeah. He used all of the figurines. Yep. He's just trying... All right, let's try Cordelia. Maybe she... Maybe he didn't ward against her. This is where the group for this trap goes. Okay, do that one more time. That was a spiky thing, right? This is where the group for this trap goes. It was like the spiked sarcophagus. Okay, so this is wrong. Okay, spiky thing is this. Now, what's connected to that spiked stripe fig... I, d I wanted to examine it. Alright, let's examine it in my inventory. Like I said, the, uh... The UI is not... Frankly, it's really not very good in this game. It's not horrible, but it's just cumbersome. These could be the spikes from that sarcophagus. Yep. But what goes with it? No, no, no. Why does this not have a name associated with it? It just says spikes. You know what? Let's do everything else. Everything else seems to... Actually, no, it doesn't have names associated with it. God damn it, okay. Am I have to, gonna have to like go in my files or something to figure out what names are associated with these traps? Just the fact that I have a spiked sarcophagus that I can't get into and there's a puzzle to get into it, and I also have the spiked sarcophagus figurine makes me think I need to solve the other puzzle before I should do that. These could be the spikes from that... To put it down. All right, what goes with it? Let's do the circle thing next. What circle can go with it? It can't be the. Uh, it can't be the Scott trap. It's got to be something else. The George siblings died in this trap. Okay. It's an Iron Maiden. What a horrible way to die. I, I don't get... How am I supposed to associate something with that? God, this must have hurt like hell. I have no way to associate anything with it. Wait a minute. I don't even have all the parts, do I? Hold on. L, L... I only have two L pieces, I need four in total. Square, square. 
Square, square, circle, 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 circle. I'm missing two L pieces. I can already tell I'm totally going to get stuck on this puzzle. Alright, well let's figure out which one needs to go with the one I do know, the Erica Reed blood and all that. Which god quadrant? One? This is where the group for this trap goes. Alright. This is where the group for this trap goes. This is where the group for this trap goes. Alright, so this is where we go. Uh, let's just place the others and see what falls into place. So I already know this is the spiky one. Oh god, I have to switch back to where to get to our inventory. It's so cumbersome. Spiky thingamabob. This is where the group for this trap goes. Alright. Spiky door thing. This is where the group for this trap go. And the glass thing. <sighs> All right, that's a start. Still leaves me with a lot of combinations. Plus, I don't even have all the pieces. So, yeah, that's not going to work. Can I examine these things closer with my magnifying glass? No. That's dumb. A very sharp razor blade. I I have no idea what to do. Alright, I can access files on my phone. Where would I go? Web search? I don't think I'm gonna find that on a web search. Nope, I don't want to use the hint system, not yet. Notes. There we go, save that. Post that to my blog, tweet it out. Anyone I could call? I'm not gonna call McAdams. Hey McAdams, I know I'm like, uh, you know, wanted by the police and you just suspended me and I kind of assaulted you, um, but could you help me solve this? Uh, no. How do I get back from this? No, that's not gonna help me. Entertainment. Let's search for entertainment. Mm, self help. Self help plays. No results. Damn it. I was so close. Oh, wait a minute. It actually says the name here Janelle. Janelle's trap. But does that help me? Okay, that's Janelle's trap, but... Doesn't tell me what, like, the Iron Maiden is for and other things, for example. George... George Sibling's trap figurine. The George Siblings died in this trap. George Sibling's trap. I, I just have no way to... Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm a fucking idiot. Let me guess. Wait, seriously? There's no... I thought I thought I could, like, view the past of the trap and... see the connected stuff. Shit. Okay, what about her? 
Really? Nothing? Nothing at all? Uh, could you look at the there you go. Hmm. Alright, I'm kind of stumped. I'm gonna go take a look upstairs just in case I missed something, but I don't think I did. Wait, have I done this before? That must have been really hard for her. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything up here. What am I supposed to do with... This blade and this magnifying glass and a glass of water? I don't get it. I don't see how any of them are connected to anything I'm doing. But anyway, I think I'm going to come back to this puzzle with a fresh perspective. And of course, if I get stuck on it, which is pretty damn likely, I'm going to cut out anything. Because I've, I've learned that... Uh, when you're solving puzzles, it's best to cut out most of your attempts to solve them, unless you happen to solve it pretty damn quickly, because it's really, really boring. So yeah, if it takes me too long next time, well, I'll cut out. I'll, I'll cut it out. But anyway, yes, I'm going to come back to this later with a fresh perspective, and hopefully that will allow me to solve it. Probably not. I'm probably just going to be stuck on it for a really long time. But anyway, yes. This game has all of the problems the previous ones did. It has janky animations, it has a cumbersome UI. Um, it's got some weird... It's got some flaky writing in some places. Some kind of flimsy and implausible things. And it's got a healthy dose of adventure game stupidity with the whole ridiculous using a broom to get the keys and then making a wire across behind him and he didn't he would hear a floorboard but he wouldn't hear me throwing a wire across the freaking floor which by the way would be very loud it's not carpeted it's wood so yeah it's got a fair share of that so it's got they haven't really improved on any of the problems the original three games had but even with all the problems the original three games have and this one has it's still a very very good game and I still love it very much and I'm really excited to keep playing it so I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.